Hi everybody, this is the nurse here from Aquamarine Medical Center and Skin Clinic. Um, we just wanted to make a video today of the total body scan and just the updates we have of the system. Um, so we've gone ahead already and taken our patient photos here. We've got Gotthard who's decided to be our patient for today. Um, so we've taken all our full body photos and we just want to really focus on the dermoscopic images of the moles that we take pictures of. So we'll get the doctor to come in at the end to show you that process as well. Um, so the first thing that we do is we get a patient history. Um, so we ask when our last skin check was. Our skin check was one year ago. One year ago. So we do recommend to come every 12 months for a skin check unless you have a lot of lesions or you have had a skin cancer in the past. Um, now, Gotthard, do you have any history of melanoma at all? No, no history. And any family history of melanoma? No. No, and you've never had any skin cancers in the past? No, I did not. And are there any particular lesions that you are concerned about that you want me to point out? Only that one here under, my, under my arm. All right. Beautiful. All right, so those are the main questions that we start off with, and then we'll invite the doctor in who will go over the part with the doctor. Hi, how are you? Well, thank you, Doctor. I'm Dr. Marina, one of the doctors here. Um, so now we are going to check each and every lesion. Yes, you came for the skin check, is it correct? That's correct. So we got our last skin check was around 12 months ago. Um, we don't have any personal history or family history of melanoma and we've never had a skin cancer in the past. Um, we are particularly worried about this little lesion underneath the armpit there, um, but otherwise just a good look over. Excellent. So what's going to happen now, Gurhan? Um, I'm going to check with my dermoscope each and every lesion. The lesions that you are concerned, the lesions that I might be concerned, everything will be placed on your file, on your photographs. In the end of the procedure, we'll analyze with you together. I might reassure you, and we don't need to do anything for now. I might advise on some biopsy. I might advise to come for close monitoring. Next time when you come, ideally, at least for your annual skin check, we will be able to see how the lesion changes over the time. So anything sinister or significant changes will be addressed appropriately. So uh, I'm going to look uh, everywhere. So are you happy with that? You will need to stay, stay with your underwear and we'll go uh, through each and every lesion, please. Yes. Beautiful. Nikki, could I have some alcohol still, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we can just put the system back on, please. All right. Okay, so if I can ask you to open your mouth for me, please. Mm -hmm. Stick your tongue out, up to the roof. Excellent, beautiful, thank you, enough. Can you grab your bottom lip, please, and pull it down for me? Excellent, and the same with the upper lip. Good job. Can you look at the ceiling for me, please? Mm -hmm. And look down for me, please. Excellent. Any lumps, any bumps on your head? No. No. Okay. I see a bit of scratching going on and some sun damage spots. Um, and they're consistent to be with the actinic keratosis or the solar keratosis. Mm -hmm. There are some spots that um, looks like solar lintigo, the sun pigmentation, or pigmentation from the sun exposure, I would say. Mm -hmm. So, Nikki, can you please just um, take these lesions um, sure. to record, even though I'm not concerned about them for now, but we never know how they're going to change, uh, how they're going to change in the future. Any solar lintigo or uh, sunspot can change in the future into malignant melanoma lintigo. All right, so we'll continue here. So we'll check one part after another, making sure that we don't miss anything. Have to be very careful also with the fingernails and toenails and all the hidden spots that are very easy to miss. All right. Here, Nikki, another spot, please, for me to check. Mm -hmm. And that's how Nikki uh, is placing all these lesions into the patient's file. So it's all right under me, please. Can I ask you, please, go ahead to remove your watch for me? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, so and then we make sure that we don't miss anything on another side. Yeah, so I apply my dermoscope on each and every spot. There are a few hemangiomas, the blood vessel growth, that we are not concerned. But again, 
have to be very careful that we don't miss any nodular melanoma. It can be very tricky. Any pink spots as well. It could be some um, squamous cell carcinoma, SCC. It could be some amelanocytic melanoma, which is not pigmented. So Nick, if we can please um, again record this lesion that Gohat is concerned about. I'm not concerned about this lesion, but any patient's concern has to be taken serious. Um, and I can see a few skin tags here. So regarding the skin tags, if uh, anytime you are interested, we have some laser here to remove them without any scarring. And some other benign lesions, especially on the face that aesthetically disturb the patients, we can also actually address here with demo therapist Kylie. She's doing laser treatment for all these lesions, but you need to be cleared uh, after the skin check, making sure that the doctor check each and every lesion before Kylie removes that with a laser. All right, so uh, what we do next, we obviously check the legs down below. We make sure that nothing also around the groin and genital area. I always ask the patient to check their genitals every three to six months. Any new uh, lesion, any new spot has to be reported. Then we ask the patient to roll over on the tummy and check everything again on the back surface. After that, we ask the patient to get dressed and I analyze with the patient together all the lesions that we, are collect we collected. Thank you. Okay, so uh, once we check each and every lesion, the patient is asked to get dressed, and then I analyze together with the patient each and every lesion. So the system actually uh, helps us to process and label each and every lesion. So we press start. Um, that was just like a follow-up. So we'll go to this lesion that we uh, recorded today. So we know that this is, and the system indicates that it's in the um, left armpit. We know exactly where the lesion coming from. Demoscopic analysis doesn't show any clues for me or any chaos that I need to suspect um, that it's a, um, something serious with the lesion. So I label that green and actually go ahead. I don't see any issues about this lesion. Okay. However, saying that, I always advise my patients that everything what I see today or what I don't see today is what's happening with the lesion today. I can't tell you how any pigmented or non-pigmented lesion can start uh, behaving tomorrow. Some melanomas can uh, develop within a few weeks and can be very aggressive. And today it looks perfect, but I can't tell you how it's gonna look in a few weeks. So by having a skin check today, you are safe for today. Uh, but if you see that some changes are happening or you're concerned about the lesions, you need to come back and report. It's very important. So, and this is what we are doing by um, looking at each and every lesion like this, that was on the tummy, and I'm quite happy with this one as well. Um, and I do believe also that was one on the face that we recorded today. We got to have a few um, skin checks done already. We didn't show today as a follow-up, we just showed as a standard, standard skin check, and this is on the face. At the moment, it's consistent with some sun exposure with a solar lintiger, which is again, can turn into malignant melanoma lintiger at any time. So, go ahead, from now on, I would like to reassure, I, today, not from now on, today I would like to reassure you, I don't need to uh, advise on any biopsy, I don't really need to monitor closely any, any of these lesions that I checked today. Um, I will place a reminder for 12 months, unless you want to be placed on more frequent regime. And I would like actually you to speak with Kylie, our demo therapist, who is providing uh, our patients with the treatment for solar keratosis or um, actinic keratosis, sun damage spots. Okay. Um, also, as you mentioned that you have some skin tags that you are not happy, she will stick with you regarding the laser treatments. And uh, I don't know if you are concerned about no. any hair, <coughs> excessive hair on your chest, hair. Kylie, Kylie can help with that as well. All the best to you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Okay, and I'll pass Thank you to Kylie. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, hello, Goddard. I'm Kylie. I'm the dermal therapist. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. So, Dr. Marina has told me that you have some skin damage um, that was caused by the and sun. And some skin tags. And some, oh, okay, right. Here under the arms. And she said that you're excessively hairy as well. On the chest, okay, yes. Okay, right. So we've got a few different um, treatments that we can do here at Aquamarine Medical Centre and Skin Clinic um, to address your 
uh, facial um, damage that was caused by the sun, uh, we do recommend um, some TCA pills. Okay. So we do recommend that you buy a pack of three. Um, your skin does need to be really prepared before you start the treatments because it's quite an intensive, intensive pill. Okay. Um, so we recommend that you get onto some Synergy products to prepare your skin, which is uh, basically the vitamin A and the vitamin B and the vitamin C. Okay. Um, but we do have like little treatment starter packs that will get you onto your correct regime. That's great, yes. Okay. Now, most importantly though, once we start our treatments here at Aquamarine Medical Center and Skin Clinic, we do advise that you're going to be more prone to um, the sun exposure, um, okay. being attracted to your skin. So we do recommend, highly recommend every day that you use our Uber Zinc. Um, which is a part of our synergy range okay so yes. it's actually not just a sunscreen it's also helps to moisturize your skin as well so oh. as i said we do recommend that you buy a pack of three yes. um, and that's because we need your skin to be very prepared before we get onto the tca pill so if, for your first treatment we will recommend after you have the skincare regime at home okay. for two weeks we do recommend the salicylic pill um and that's a good way to see how your skin reacts and also to help further prepare your skin. Okay. We then go on to the TCA pill, which is predominantly for um, actinic keratosis and yeah. um, solo damage. So that, um, that removes the sun damage? Absolutely. It brings it all up to the surface. <clears throat> um, what you will notice uh, initially that your um, sun damage will get darker. Okay. Your skin will get a lot tighter. Um, you'll notice that you'll look like you've aged about 10 years in the space of two days because everything gets a lot tighter and more wrinkly. And then from there, um, it has a shedding process, which will huh, last about a week. Okay. Yeah. But they, um, I mean, like this pill is just amazing. You know, it just brings up all the sun damage from the dermal layers of the skin. Um, anything that's left behind there after your second TCA pill, uh, we do then need to address that with Dr. Marina again because it's possibly could be something a little bit more sinister than what okay. your hair that you have on your chest here. Um, we do have an IPL um, laser machine here. Uh, we can do an in motion kind of technique, uh, which has got a discomfort level of maybe one or a two, which is very low out of 10. Um, it's highly, highly, highly effective. Um, we do recommend around about. Um, uh, six to eight treatments okay. okay so because of the hair cycle we do recommend that you come every month um, and just before you come in for your treatment we do recommend as well that you have a shave okay so make sure you don't wax don't pluck don't do anything because we want that hair bulb to be left where, where it is okay. okay so the whole idea behind this is that the light um, caused by the IPL machine penetrates down the hair shaft and then it will kill that nutrient bulb okay, okay? So we can only catch the um, hair in one stage of the hair cycle and there's three different stages of the hair cycle. We can only catch it in the antigen stage and that's why we need you to come back every month. Okay. All right. Perfect. And the skin tags? Okay. So the skin tags. So we have um, our laser uh, machine that we have here. Um, we've got 12 different piece, hand pieces here. Um, at Aquamarine Medical Center and Skin Clinic that we use with the Harmony. Um, the one that I'll use for the skin tag removal is a specific hand piece. Um, we recommend between one and three treatments for is this. Is this painful? No, it's definitely not painful at all. Okay. So um, we'll just put some nice protective goggles <coughs> on your face um, and then um, in a trigger-like action, um, it will Burn, so. burn, yes, through the skin tags. Okay. Yeah. So after a period of time, um, it will shrivel up and then it will fall off. Okay. So if it's not effective on the first treatment, um, we can get you back in a month's time and then we can try again. So they do recommend between one and three sessions okay. to get your desired results. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your information. Okay, no problem. Much appreciated. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you for watching our video today. So if you're interested in having a skin check, if you haven't had one in 12 months or you have a lot of moles that you want to monitor, then come on down and Dr. Marina Rota or Dr. Zahida Wan will perform a skin check. Um, and if you do have any sort of cosmetic concerns, even um, anti-wrinkle, muscle relaxants or lip fillers, or if you're interested in any of the chemical peels or any of the laser um, consultations, then come on down and um, yeah, we'll see you then. Thank you for watching.